Mzalele ngome zimnani Mzalele ngome zimnani Mzalele ngome zimnani Umam timbu tani ngome zimnani Aha Dikule Eblawa Dikule ndi nga mazu dada Umaku Luwami Dikule ndi mbizu mama Ondi kulisi lumama Eh wundi fundisi lumama Dikesa Mbeta Kizanjo ndi lungisi lumama Zange da lubonu tando nje Jenge lako mamtebu Hello everyone, hello everyone And welcome to Ekwanaba TV in South Africa You are watching Conversation with your gold touch I am having the hip artist The hop artist in the building my homeboy but he's going to introduce himself i want him to introduce himself who is he where is he from okay so over to my brother next to me but please tell us in the world who are you wapi usuk api i funny mr himani yes Others want to be like Dala, just in case want to be like Dala. This is me, this is me, this is me. <laughs> yeah, I funny. Zalwi M. Tata, grew up in Port Elizabeth, uh, blew up in Josie, and now living in South Africa. Wow, 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 wow. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Now, I want to know, when did you start to sing professionally? Professionally, I would say um, 20... Mm. Okay, two, there's two dates. Né? There's the date where I started to mess with it professionally. Then there's a date when I started to blow out, blow up professionally. So not personally, 2006. Okay. But no one knew Mkulu what I was doing then. And then publicly, 2012, I would say. All right. So six years after. Why hip hop? Why you chose hip hop? Ah, that's me. You know, grew up with hip hop, Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Rakim, Bonke, Buster Rhymes, Lil Kim, Fox, Jay Z, the old Jay Z, okay. Nas from way back. So I grew up with Mkulu Njiana, So it was natural for me to just go into that direction. All right, all right. Um, I understand that you sing Venek, Ukulanges Tosa. Don't you feel that you don't? accommodate other tribes but the thing is about so yes, tell us yes, yes. why is using is it because of your language of the neck when you i'm see. with you i'm with you my sister and goes that say can i ask a quick question mm. did you know lil wayne sings in the neck okay did you know beyonce sings in the neck mm -hmm. did you know jay-z is in the neck mm -hmm. so what's wrong with me using the neck Able. So we all, the neck just means you are more comfortable. This is you, you are, exp you are expressing who you are. And that's why sometimes they call it your mother tongue. Because as you come out of Umama Wako, these are the things you learn from her. You learn skills, communication skills from Umama Wako. So when you tell people who you are, your parents come through. So Nababa Mbazali need to come through when I express myself musically. And Mkosa, Tata Mkosa, Mama Mkosa. All right, tell us the hit song Ingomezim Nandi. Yes. What motivated the song? Because the song was loved by everyone. In fact, it is loved by everyone, even the elders. Yes. You know, people that are not fan of hip hop or rap music. Mm -hmm. But the song mm -hmm. was massive. Tell us what motivated the song. I'll tell you how it came about. So I'm creating my album. I just got signed to Sony Music Africa and I'm excited and they wanted an album. I sent an album, I sent an album. So I'm calling everyone I know, guys, I need beats, guys, I need beats. Then there was this guy called Six Four. I think Six Four was a cock stand, but somewhere close to the KZN border and the Eastern Cape border. So I go to him, he's, a, he, he's in Renpeg somewhere. Defeat a partner and a six was no go. Like, a six was a dope dude, like, with beats it was great. So, slowly, we're going through these beats and nothing is coming through. Mm. Sharp. So, now I leave Usakekile with six foot to continue talking, and now I've zoned out because these beats are not connecting now. 
So as I'm zoning out, this beat comes on. I'm not even paying attention to this beat. I, I think I was paying attention to my thoughts because I was just remembering when I was growing up. This beat comes on. And as this beat is coming on, I'm like, as I'm thinking about Mom Timbo, when I tell Mom Timbo, Mom Timbo, I got to deal with the Sony music. And Mom Timbo, my songs are going to go on radio. Mom Timbo, I'm making nice songs. The only problem is you won't be able to hear you know, you won't be able to hear these nice songs. Ah, man. And then, like, play her these songs I'm about to make. Yeah. Just play her these songs I'm about to make. So I took the beat, went home. That night I did the song. And it became massive. After I released it, it became massive, yeah. Tell me about the family support Yeah. in your career. Tell us about your family support in your career. Well, in my career, I don't think I family in my career. Family for me has always been for, for my well-being. You know, just in the end, you as um, they've always been there for me. Um, I don't think I'm just in the end, you as um, they've always been there for me, supported me as an individual. But the music thing, I always wanted Mkulo to be my thing. It's my story for my family that I will one day create. So Bona, they just help me or support me as Umdu, not as a musician. All right. So what advice is, or what is it that you can say to parents who do not support Abandona Babo that wants to enter into the music space? Right now, I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. And I'm a parent three times. So I am a daddy of three. So answering this question now comes from a different person, different I find. And I would like to say this to Abazal. You have to be yourself as a parent. You cannot take advices from everywhere. You have to do what feels good for when as a parent. Here's the reason why I say that. Because the things, even the wrong things you do to Abazal, in time they, it helps them become the human beings they, they become later on. Mzegele Omna and my mom had a bad relationship um, for some time. You know, like teenage till young adult, mm -hmm. that period, it was rough for Tina, so it was. But it's that period that made me change. after my dreams because I didn't want to be with this woman. Like, if the family shield is really like, higher, the salary no late, the mother well. No, 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 no. I must study hard here, or I must work hard here. So, to chase these things. So, I needed that turmoil to help me chase as is it. So, if a parent is right now not supporting Umdan, maybe it's helping that kid to become independent, as Pushelung Gukwaik. So, as a parent, just do you. All right. So when is the right time to release a song or an album? When do you think, um, okay, you know, when it's June, no, that's not the right time. Mm -hmm. Or when it's December, yeah, yeah, that's the right time. So when do you think, okay. uh, or when yes. is the right time to release a song or an album? Okay, for me, so I find it personally, I always go with the seasons. So it's season in mood. So happy songs go out in summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, emotional songs go out in winter and uh, in Goma that are more bedroom like-ish you know let's make our baby you know <laughs> autumn 
Okay. Autumn, because around that time, no February, you know, March, leaves falling. Oh, mm. yeah. yeah. All right. What happened when you were off the limelight? We did not see you I funny in our screens anymore. Yes, yes. What happened? Well, I took some time off. At the time when I was taking the time off, I was done. Now that I'm back, I'm like, actually, I was not done. We break mostly. Yeah. But when I was breaking, I was like, this is it. I was moving into a new chapter in my life. So I'm share and I moved on to a new life. Okay, share us what is the new life or what happened in that period? Were you just sitting at home or were you busy doing something else, not music? Let me, let me tell you the answer in a historical way. Okay. So before I did music, I left engineering. I was an engineer, qualified engineer, working for a cup for in a brewery, you know, doing engineering stuff. When I was done with that, I jumped off engineering into the music and I left engineering the way it was there and there were people in engineering saying come on come over come back you are so good you know we need you here this music thing what if it doesn't work out for Wena you know you're earning good money here please come and I was like mm -mm, I am done with that life I'm here now and then in music I got hijacked I lost everything I was still in it and not going backwards mm. and then eventually this thing blew up after some time it blew up, then I became the musician. Then when I was done, I said, okay, I'm done. Next. Now the music people are like, no, come back. We need same thing with the sensor mm. by the engineering people. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So mna, when I'm done, I move. Like I'm a, I'm a traveler. Mm. All right. And now here I am back in this spot, limelight, and I've left the Cassie life again. And my corner about the cast that are like, ah, come on, Tamzi, come back. You know, it's a pin room And the shoe, shoe. And I'm like, no, guys, the busy. Mm. The busy. All right. Now, speaking of Fikasi, yeah. how were the critics or how was life around the people of your community? They start returning back home now. Yeah. So, how, how was the feedback um, from the community? Hey, I'm going to tell you, like, you're going to find Hey, it depends. You know, I find it. Hey, I could turn it up. There's no sense And for me personally, because and there's no one that I am emotionally matured, or maybe I'm just not inclined to that But in the church, my band doesn't bother me. It does bother my friends sometimes. Like you, you play your killer like cackle. Yeah, you're turning out. I'm like, guys, relax. Because I say things about Messi or Ronaldo. You know about other brands or famous people, but I'm not talking to them directly as people, mm -hmm. just as the brand. But yo, we are in la water, no. Now, in don't don't. You get what I'm saying? So about the city, our iPhone, no parallel. They just talk about the brand, not me as a person, because Abanda is a nice person. All right. Back in the city of gold. Yeah. What are you currently doing now? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now we are cooking now. See a pack, oh. If you thought that was tasty, almost shaking, or mesm nandi, come to this one. Mm. Come to this one. This is the one. Third quadrant. Mm. So first quadrant came out with a shake, mesm nandi, chocolate and vanilla, airway, all that stuff. Second quadrant came with ayatelela, February. Now it's third quadrant. Wow. New stuff. Spetilos. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of filosi. Mm -hmm. Um, on social media, some were saying, yo, we don't see Aifani because um, there's some spirituality involved. Yes, was, that yes, yes, yes. was that true? Was that true? That is true. That. Yeah, that is true. That mm. is true. But Tabe City spirituality, don't think Sangomas. Okay. Yeah, you know, spirituality is quite broad. It's the entire umbrella of spirituality. It includes religion and everything else, right? So, Nam, it's one of the things I always wanted to find out for me personally. Like, who is God? Or what is God? What happens when we die? Do we die? You know, I always had these deeper questions for me. Mm. And the Klaisha, where I left music, I got to uncover those. All right. Now, please share words 
to not only young South Africans, yeah. but to the young ones around the world. Yeah. Please share the words um, to those that want to enter the space. What would you say to them? Just about the music industry. Yeah, yeah. To those young ones around the world mm -hmm. that want to enter the space. Uh, Buffet 2 is a great space. It's a fun space. You choose your own hours. You can do whatever you like. The only advice I would have is manage your emotions, mm -hmm. you know, just stay on the positive side. Because once you get into the negative side, it can be a spiral. Like it could, you could go all the way to depression. You could even go past depression into mm -hmm. suicide. Like it, it, it's that slippery on the other side. If you stay on the positive side, it's lovely. All right. Manage your emotions, Uzo Bakrend. Message to your fans, to the ha -ha! Yes. I'm not seeing yes, the right. Be yes, the yes, hip hop yes. artist. Yes. What Buile. message do you have for your fans? Oh, Buile. Buile. Buile Tata. Buile Tata. Buile Tata. And you go. I'm going to There's a difference. Tata. Buile. So, I'm going to go to Tata. Okay. You get petty plastic. The Kakazela. There's a man. Yes. That's quite random. So, the banner is showing. Alright, um, Ifani Budom, mm. thank you so much for honoring the invite. Um, I believe to the world, guys, we also have some hip hop artists that not only sing in English but sings in Venec mm -hmm. that uh, that also have a beautiful uh, dress sense of a sense of style as you can see him. So that's all I can say from me, Tash and the Equanaba family in South Africa. It's live and light as always. Mm -hmm.